Boeing's long-delayed Starliner spacecraft is finally ready for a launch. The capsule will carry veteran NASA astronauts Commander Butch Wilmore and pilot Sonny Williams to the International Space Station. The test flight is, a, is key for Boeing as the company seeks NASA approval to conduct routine orbitable, orbitable, orbital sorry, trips and to become an alternative to SpaceX, which has already sent dozens of crewed flights to space. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood is at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Bill joins me now where Orbital just trips off his tongue where it does not mind. Um, Bill, tell us what sort of preparation goes into a launch like this. Well, let's see if I can do it without stumbling, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't even begin to describe how much work goes into preparing for a launch like this. First, you have the engineers getting the Atlas V rocket ready for flight. And remember, John, this is the first flight of an Atlas with people on board uh, since Gordon Cooper took off on the last Mercury flight back in 1961. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, or 61 years ago, I should say. Uh, so that's a major uh, milestone in itself. They're making very carefully sure that the rocket is safe and ready to go. And as you say, the Starliner is making its first flight with people on board. And so all the checks and balances that have to go into that uh, really are, are almost behind them now. You know, this is the, the countdown. The crew is suited up. They're getting ready to head to the pad. So the lion's share of the work is over. Now we got to see how it pays off. I can't, just can't imagine the, that emotional experience they're going through right now. Only a few handful of humans in the world have had it. Um, when they're in space, uh, what are they going to do? Quite a bit. You know, the whole point of this mission is to thoroughly test the Starliner spacecraft. And so Butch Wilmore and uh, Sonny Williams, they're both former Navy test pilots uh, and full-time NASA astronauts. Now they've got four flights between them, more than 500 days in space, very experienced astronauts. They're going to put the Starliner through its paces. They're going to do some manual flying tasks. The Starliner has some unique manual controls. It's designed to fly fully automatically all the way to docking at the station, but it's equipped with systems that would let astronauts step in and adjust the trajectory if necessary. So they're going to test all of that shortly after getting orbit this evening, getting to orbit, I should say, uh, before they go to bed and call it a day. Uh, if it all goes well, they're going to catch up with the station early Wednesday morning and move in for docking. They'll do some more manual piloting tests uh, right before they actually link up with the space station. Uh, so it's a pretty full schedule for those guys in orbit. And for this, uh, this launch and also what SpaceX has been doing, what, does, what kind of future are we heading towards, Bill? What's that going to look like? You know, it's interesting. NASA hired SpaceX and Boeing back in 2014, gave them multi-billion dollar contracts uh, to start building commercial cruise ships. SpaceX obviously got to the finish line first. They launched the first crew on a, star, on a SpaceX uh, Crew Dragon spacecraft back in 2020. Boeing had hoped to do that, but ran into a whole series of technical problems that taken this long to resolve. But the point is to have two spacecraft independently built, different designs, so that if one company runs into a problem that grounds their ship, the other company can still take astronauts to the space station. So if this flight goes well, NASA plans to launch one SpaceX Crew Dragon each year and one Boeing Starliner to keep the crews on the space station replenished uh, through the end of that program in 2030. Wow. Busy times ahead. Bill Harwood of the Kennedy Space Center. Thank you so much, as always, Bill. Always a pleasure.